this section of DMing for fun and profit, I'm going to bring a surprise on you. How to make and close the sale. First thing that we need to do is find an audience or a marketplace. This is where most internet marketers, most salespeople, most store owners, most restaurant owners go wrong. They have this concept. They want to make it big and they know in their heart of hearts that it's great. And it could be, but there's no audience and there's no marketplace for it. Have you ever noticed that Waffle House, BP, Home Depot, they consistently make sale after sale, year after year, decade after decade, because we as humans are not comfortable with massive change. No, we're not. That's why this new high tech fusion restaurant goes out of business. That's why this newfangled ice cream shop goes out of business. People like their vanilla. They like their chocolate. They like their strawberry. Rocky Road has been around long enough that it's become a staple. But remember this when you're constructing your offers, constructing your products, that it doesn't have to be radically transformed. It has to be good. It has to be stable. And it has to work. Apple, which is on the verge of becoming the first trillion dollar company. Their product is not substandard, but it's not really innovative. Reason Apple is making so much money is we've introduced us to the iPhone. The iPhone works and they're not drastically changing the iPhone. And you hear all the tech reviewers go, oh, no, it's horrible. It's terrible. And for someone like me, I have a Samsung Note 8 who's somewhat technical savvy. The new iPhone offerings, eh, they're not exciting. But for the average person, for the person who's not Internet savvy, for the person who's not Internet or tech savvy, oh, man, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh, look at these emojis. What many of these tech reviewers forget and what many people who are in the know forget is that the average person they ain't that deep into it. There does not. They want something they could pull out of their phone, press some buttons, and it works. And if it comes in a nice, shiny package, even the better. And that's where most people go wrong. They're trying to radically transform industries and products and services that don't need to be transformed. When you create your product or your service, you need to look for an established audience and an established marketplace. Write that down. An established audience in an established marketplace. Health, sex, dating. These are staples of the Internet. And as much competition as there are in those niches, there's room for more because it doesn't have your personal slant on it. It doesn't have your je ne sais quoi. So the first thing you need to do in constructing the offer is to nail down your marketplace or audience. Uh, what many entrepreneurs do is create a product or a service that nobody wants. It's great. It might be ahead of its time. My first business, A Picture With Your Pooch, it was decades ahead of its time. That could actually fly right now. Maybe with camera phones, with people using certain things. I don't really know. It's very, very challenging. It's very interesting. First thing you need to do is nail down your marketplace. Find a marketplace of people you want to serve, a marketplace that you can serve because many people want to save the poor people. A noble cause. Now, here's what's going to happen, and I'm going to give you my experience. I know there is a marketplace of people who want to start businesses, but due to cultural shifts and family dynamics, Many people do not want to work hard for riches. They just don't. They want to have a magic jelly bean. They want to have some kind of scam, some kind of app that's just going to churn out a lot of money for the low low. Simply preposterous. It's just not going to happen. But that's the poor people. And understand this. If you are thinking that this course was too much or you're thinking that, oh, man, he wants so much money. You're you have poor person mentality. This course regardless of the cost, will earn you, if you do the work, a hundred to a thousand and thousand more, more times than what you paid. 
So the, the price of the course is irrelevant. The price of your commitment is most important because if you're committed, if you're faithful, you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to separate yourself from your friends and your family. And one of the things that you have to understand when you are a successful person in the midst of average people, that you're a mutant and you must govern yourself accordingly. Going on and bawling out about your accomplishments while your friends are struggling to pay rent, while they're struggling to eat, it's not going to make you a welcome member of the party. Unless you share and you contribute to come ups, then yeah, they'll love you. But also, they'll become like leeches. Deal with poor people. You have to understand the mentality. Many poor people feel that for someone to gain something, someone must lose something. And that's one of the ways you have to play the game. Part of serving poor people, and you can make billions off of poor people, billions and billions of dollars. But you have to actually, you have to actually play to them. This is why liquor stores, this is why convenience stores, this is why hair weave stores are all in poor neighborhoods because of the mentality. If these people thought differently, they would make different buying choices. I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to inform and let you know if that's what you wanna do, that's the game you have to play. With your marketplace and your audience, the sales are already there. You just have to give these people exactly what they want.